So we have the shield installed and we are taking it out per the recommendation of not taking the screen covering off to get a feel for it. Uh, I have backpack on the back. And we are trying out the bike two up. I can tell you already the difference is huge. There's uh I have my screen open and you, you can't hear any rushing of wind. I mean, you're not going to get that overly at uh, 30 miles an hour or so, but you definitely can feel the difference. Um, we do have the uh, screen open, the shield here. It is, uh, it's in the high 90s today, let's see. It is 95, so it's significantly hot. So I figured we'd try it with it open and see how the wind is. Now this is the light gray recurve version of the Clearview Shield. I spoke to Craig, who is the president of the company in length, uh, about what I was looking for to uh, make my Ultra a lot more comfortable for touring for myself and the wife. And um, so this has a recurve at the top. It's gonna give you a couple more inches of coverage by putting the wind up over you. So you have a screen that's physically lower, but covering you better as far as air is also wider than the stock i think it's called the gt i will put that in my notes uh, i think there's a gt and a gt sculpted now i know this video is going to be a little disorienting with the covering here and all the orange so we're only going to do a short bit of this and then i'm going to uh once i'm comfortable with it we're going to do a longer video with this off but i wanted you to at least get an idea of the process they want you to test it with the covering on, if it's still on and fully intact, you can return it, which I think is uh, always huge when you're spending this kind of money on a screen. So far, I can tell you uh, the build quality is fantastic. This is the second shield that I've had from them. My Harley shield, if you did this, you could flex it considerably and you'd notice at high speed, it would, it would flex. There's no flex to this screen whatsoever, which is probably why the pocket of wind feels so good. Let's open up and see what it does. So that's 60 miles an hour. I have my visor open and there's barely any bobble. The other thing I'm noticing is I can hear the, uh, the bike much better because there's a lot less wind noise, which is kind of neat. And I noticed um, before we were able to uh, try out the radio. I didn't want to get demonetized, but even with the radio on, the ra or rather with the radio on, it sounds considerably better. You can hear the radio at speed a lot better than you could with the stock windshield, which if uh, you run the radio is always an option, always a plus rather. And the only way that I'm getting any sort of wind noise uh, or buffering is if I, if I really reach my head up here and I'm almost sitting on the back of the seat, to, uh, to get out of that pocket. So it's, it's very comfortable. The nice part is with this open, I'm feeling it in my chest, which is, is nice because it's hitting your chest, but it's not causing your helmet to buff on. So the color, the recurve, the vent, the size, the width are all customizable. These are hand-built windshields. Uh, they are made in the USA, and I like the fact that they're built, they're, they're built to spec. So if you wanted something unique, you can have it. Um, I really like having the vent. It gives me the option when I don't want the wind, I can push this up. And now I'm still just in a nice pocket, but I'm not getting as much wind on my chest. So if it's a colder day, if you're riding all season, you can simply close that and you're good to go. So one thing I'm going to be interested to check out after the fact is how the audio of this sounds because I can tell you I don't have the amount of wind noise that I normally have in my ears at 40 miles an hour. So I'm sure the audio is going to be a lot cleaner which will be nice too. It is, a, I really wanted to give you my first impressions. Now this is the second shield that I've had from Clearview. I'll put a video or rather a picture up. I had a um, KOR 650 and I had one of their shields on it. I had a pretty significantly, a pretty tall screen too, that really helped take the, uh, the wind and the buffering off the KLR windshields real short, obviously. So that made it into a uh, 
really affordable touring machine. And now that we had the Ultra and had the opportunity to uh, do the upgrades, I thought that the screen would be was really the way I wanted to go, and, and Clearview was the only the only manufacturer I was even looking at. Quite honestly, it um, it's a it's a much better build quality than the Harley Shields. And uh, like I said, you get a lot of options as well. It also has, um, you know, it has the hardware included. It's got two rubber pieces that you can put underneath the fairing there because it's wider so it doesn't scratch your bike. I thought that was a nice thought. Always good to keep your bike in one piece, scratch free. We're just gonna pull over here and pop the plastic off. So no bobble? None. Wow. Like, I don't, I don't even know how to explain it. Usually you have some wind and you have to like, you have to have like a natural like pushing tendency. I don't have any of that. I'm completely like wind free. Well, I'm going to go on to 206 for a bit. I want to open it up and I want to see what it's like. Alright. So we just stopped to take the plastic off and obviously we're not going to be able to get a, a really clean thing I'm going to have to remove the shield to do that but I'm really uh, clearly I've decided to keep it I'm really pleased with the way this turned out and I love the, the light smoke color it gives you uh, gives you less glare coming off the street but it's not ridiculous to where you feel like you couldn't ride it uh, you know at night I'm, I'm looking probably, it's going to be hard to see, but my eye level is about there to the tip of my middle finger. So my eyes are significantly over the shield, but the, the amount of wind that's reduced by this is just simply amazing. I'm really pleased with it. Yeah, I like the way it looks too. I mean, you can see, I don't know how well it's going to come off on the camera, but looking through it, I mean, it's, it's crystal clear. So that's the covering sort of the process of ordering it. Speaking to Craig, the uh, like I said, it was packed extremely well. I was very happy with it, and the quality is just nothing short of spectacular. The the vent here is well made, nice ratcheting system. The screen itself is beautiful. I want to say, I don't know the exact thickness versus stock, but it's. I almost feel like it's double. I may be wrong in saying that. I can probably throw something down on the screen to tell you exactly what the difference is. But it, it, it's night and day. You don't you don't see the shield wobbling at all at speed. It's creating a nice pocket of wind. So I'm, I'm very pleased with the purchase. So I appreciate you watching this review and getting my initial thoughts on the shield. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, if you've gotten this far to my outro guru, I appreciate you guys watching as always. I'd appreciate it if you give this a thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know what you thought of the review. Have you, if you've had a clear view windshield, what you think, what your other, uh, what the other modifications of shields out there are. But I have to tell you this here, I'm very impressed with it.